What's up everybody on the YouTube? This is the Professor Attorney back with another video slash episode of Professor Leighton and the Miracle Mask. Um, we, we're almost done, I think we're almost done clearing Dalston's name of being the Masked Jensen in here. Sorry for that awkward pause right there. Somebody had to talk, speak to me for, for a few moments and now we're at the racetrack. Because, because um, somebody in the, because one of the detectives said that the cart came from here, so. I know I said before that I... Well, this isn't concerning Professor Lane, this is concerning what I said about Adventure Time. I finished watching it. I finished watching uh, Islands and, and Stakes. Oh, look at this mess. Oh, I think I see a toy bunny in there. I used to have one just like that. I, and uh, <laughs> the new, the new miniseries elements. That was crazy. Bunny hops. I forgot to read it. Bunny hops seventy four. Puzzle number seventy four. Bunny hop swap three. These gold, these odd rabbit toys keep hopping back. There are three rules. The rabbit can only move by jumping horizontally, diagonally, or vertically over other rabbits. They can, they can jump over any number of rabbits at once. A white rabbit will swim brown when jumped over and vice versa. Can you make all the rabbits here turn brown? Use the following, following the rules given above. Sure. Yeah. Hop, hop. Th this game uses a lot of bunnies, doesn't it? I mean, you got the circus bunny, you got all these bunny hop swap puzzles. And then, you no wait. Then you do that, 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 and that. There you go. Correct, the rabbits have all changed color wonderfully. And what an elegant solution. They look like chocolate bunnies. You really have a knack for anything dealing with animals, Luke. Well, they are my friends. Good day, I'm Gustav. The manager here. How can I help you find folks today? Yeah, I, man I imagine Gustav sounding like Mr. Harriman from Foster's Home. My name is Herschel Layton, and I'm looking into the case of the masked gentleman at the recent at the request of Mrs. Modol. Might I ask you some questions? Oh, you too happy to help. Although I, I am quite busy here with this puzzle. Puzzle number seventy-five, Grand Horse Race. One day, four people took part in a racing tournament. First, they had races of two. Then the winner raced against each other. Then the winners raced against each other, while the losers battled for third. Can you work out the order based on the comments below? A said, I won the race and lost another. B said, I didn't make it to the, f to the final. C said, I'm just glad I beat A. D said, if only I hadn't lost to B.
Well, one of a one one race, but lost the other. So he was one of the first two winners. So he's second. C said, "I'm just glad I beat A." So she's first. And D said, "If only I hadn't lost to B." So I think that's the order. I think so, anyway. Well, it should be the order, anyway. How about this? Puzzles are made to be solved. I think that's one of the. That was one. That was pretty easy, man. That was too easy. <laughs> Correct. C came first, A second, B third, and D came last. D didn't sound very happy about the result, did he? I would be happy. I mean, he didn't sound like a sore loser either. New stage for the silly robot. Oh, thank you. You, ha you had some questions? Do you remember anything unusual on the Knights of the Stone statue incident? Unusual? I don't believe so. It's quite uneventful here overall. <sighs> Sorry. Do you recall if any of the cards have been removed recently? Well, yes, actually. One of our cots was sent out for repairs. It was fixed about a month ago. I was shocked to see it that that broke down again. They're quite heavy though. Very tough to move around without a horse. I'd like to take a look at one. Are all of the cots being used right now? There may be one in the garage. In the garage. You are welcome to take a look. So what can I say except you're welcome. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Weird wilds. Is it a brother of a wild? A remote jungle filled with plants that don't even have names yet. Yeah, Elements was a crazy mini mini series in Adventure Time. If I there's a lot of stuff happened in there. And what? A lot, a lot of stuff happened in, in pretty much all of ooh man before and after the the event well i mean even after the event crazy stuff happened but i i don't want to spoil anything so i'm just gonna leave my reaction of elements to that This has been the type of cards used in the stone statue incident? If so, I can't see why the criminal would choose this. It's very sturdy. I can see why what he would. You could transport quite a bit of in one of these, Professor, and very quickly. Let's take a closer look at this one. It's sturdy and heavy. It would be a challenge to move one, of, one from the track quickly and quietly. The criminal couldn't have hit it. Could it? Criminal couldn't have, could have ridden it out of here. Yes, but that would have left tracks leading from here to the scene. 
The police would have noticed that, I think. Besides, to ride one out of here, you need a horse to pull it. A, miss a missing horse will raise some eyebrows. Wait a moment. Hmm. What is it, Professor? Interesting. Take a close look here. Oh yeah, it looks all scuffed up. These boots. With a few tons, one could easily dismantle this car. I was not really focusing on the bolts. I was just looking, focusing on the uh, the parts where the paint was wearing out. No doubt these cards are much easier to transport when they're in separate pieces. One could transport the pieces and later reassemble the cards. Man, I'm so yawny today. If you could carry it around in pieces, that would be much less conspicuous. Consip. Com. Blah 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 blah. Ten died. Conspicuous. I think that's how you say it. But wouldn't, wouldn't someone here just notice if you were taking apart one of the carts? A good question, Luke. Let's speak with Gustav again. Gustav, what is the process for removing cars from, from the premises? You mean, you mean for the pairs? Well, each car would have been signed out, and the repair order would need to be signed by the truck owner, Mr. Rodolfo. Would you like to see the repair, repair records? Yes, if that would be alright. I don't see why, why not. Hmm. Interesting. Is it? The cars we were just looking at was out for routine man maintenance at the same time the statue incident occurred. Surely you're not suggesting that there is a connection between the cults and the nefarious mass gentlemen? Simply one of several possibilities. And yes, Henry signed the repair order. Of course, all standard procedure is that no cult can be removed on premises without Mr. Lodol's approval. Mr. Lodol was here today, actually. You just missed him. Henry was here? Yes. He had just come from the scene of last night's incident, apparently. I guess he just... He came across some... <sighs> Sorry, everyone. I'm just so yawny today. I don't know why. I guess he came across some art pieces dropped in, draped in cl drop cloths for the museum. And it, he spoke of the ki to the curator about them. Drop cloths? Interesting. Thank you, Gustav. You've been, the mo you've been most helpful. I believe our next stop should be the Rodola residence. I agree. We really haven't had a chance to speak with a length with Mr. Rodol. He isn't he bound to be busy, Professor? I believe he he'll make time for us. Well let's go. Let's go. Come on, Ramos. Everybody, let's go. Come on, let's get to it. I know that we can do it. <laughs> Sorry. One of the cards, one of the cards out being out of the repairs in the statue and it can't be, can't be a coincidence. Without evidence, what, one will.